about you peel back What's going on, ladies and gentlemen, beautiful people of Thunderstruck Gaming? My name is Frito, also known as the self proclaimed the fucking king of defending Black Ops 2. Yes, I'm that guy. You know, the guy you heard about that actually likes Black Ops 2, who posts it and actually praises most of the balance and enjoys the game? I thought he was a myth, a legend, like a unicorn <laughs> or a Bigfoot. No, I exist, and here I am in full glory. So... This commentary is going to be about the PDW nerf because I actually have a vaulted gameplay way back when in the Stone Ages, the medieval times of Black Ops 2 when the PDW was the most outrageously overpowered SMG that we've seen probably since the World at War MP40. It's amazing how badly they made that mistake, but it's also pretty impressive that they fixed it. I mean, World at War had the MP40 problem still today. This we dealt with for like a month, maybe two, I don't really remember, it's so long ago, I, I, I think I was a completely different person. It feels like I was in kindergarten when this game came out, and it's been an entire lifespan. But, the, the real story about this, the interesting thing, besides the balance of it, which is something that I talk about a lot on my channel, by the way, is there's a whole community of people, like a whole culture of COD players, that preferred weapons to be as strong as the PDW was at launch. So instead of toning down the PDW, they would have rather everything else be pushed up to compete with it. Be more like MW2 where every weapon killed instantly, like BAM! It's like you're playing laser tag, you just like hit him, spray him, he's dead instantly. <sighs> Here's the thing though, and this is the main reason why I actually like Black Ops 2 quite a bit, is that this game attempts to build something different rather than have that really simplistic easy mode COD. This tries to be a bit of a harder Call of Duty to play in a lot of ways, and that's why I think a lot of people get upset and aggravated that they don't enjoy playing it, because it's a game, it's more of a thinking's man Call of Duty, which is kind of an oxymoron to say, but it takes more thought process, it takes more try-hardy nature all the time. It, you have to really try and know the metagame and really learn the best weapons to use in different situations and how to go about the maps and what you're doing all the time. You have to be careful and thinking and be a good player and you can't get away with a lot of the willy-nilly play you used to back in like MW2. And also something that I think doesn't really get mentioned enough, I think Call of Duty players on the whole on average are getting better over time so that makes the game harder as well. But Black Ops 2 opts to have a, a lower, no, excuse me, a higher time to kill, which, which means it takes longer to kill enemies rather than a fast one. So there's people who, like, look, look at me, I killed that, shot that guy with like three bullets and he got taken out with an SMG with 50 round clip. That's outrageous. There's people who prefer it this way because they don't want to try really hard to learn a difficult game. They don't want to get their aim absolutely perfect. Like, I hear a lot of people complain about the consistency of Black Ops 2. Hold on a sec. More importantly, check out that dolphin die. You ate Frito, baby! <laughs> <laughs> so if you guys haven't seen that epic video of me dolphin away, dolphin diving away from a Hellstorm missile in Thunder's main channel, check that out. World's best dolphin dive or something like that. He titled it. it. It's a pretty epic time. Back when Thunder had the patience to play Black Ops 2 quite a bit. The golden times. Thunder, you remember? Remember the fun we used to have? Come on, man. Play Black Ops 2 with me, big boy. We'll just go dolphin diving all over the place. But... The thing is, people prefer the easy, like, times to kill from some of the Call of Duties, but I don't. Because what happens is, if you have a game that requires more aim, more like Halo, more arcadey, where it takes more bullets to kill, it widens the skill gap between players. Now, the downside of that is, obviously, you get these situations where it's like, oh, I was shooting him and he turned on me, or I was shooting him and then he headshotted me and he was shooting him and blah, 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 and the whole, like, shoot first and die type thing. Shoot first only was a big deal in two, two situations. If you're playing hardcore mode or if you're playing MW2 where everybody died instantly, this game has, well, the vi damage visual kick is toned in because everybody uses toughness, but the point is, you should be able to outshoot your way 
in a gunfight if your aim is better. Even if the opponent starts shooting you first in a game that has longer times to kill, like right there. I reacted, I had better hip fire, got all my shorts on target, and I had an, a more powerful gun. The PDW is overpowered, so I can whip it off the hip and kill a guy faster than he can ADS and miss me. And that inherently makes it a bit harder. What also makes Black Ops 2 a bit harder is the fact that the characters move at least 5% faster across the board. LMGs, assault rifles, and submachine guns, I believe. They move ridiculously fast, and there's lightweight in the game. Now, I'm not a big advocate of this because it, it messes with lag. I prefer the game, the characters to move slower so that... The la it doesn't hurt the lag as much, and it also hurts the camera angles even worse. We haven't even started talking about that. I know there's going to be at least 100 comments talking about lag and camera angles <laughs> in this video. Every time I say I like Black Ops 2, there's at least 100 comments saying, Lag, camera angles, I'm done, I sold this game three weeks ago, I broke it in half, I split it under my nutsack, I teabagged it to death. You know, that's fine and dandy, but... Uh... <laughs> I actually like this game. Uh, go ahead and sub to my channel if you want to see an alternate point of view on the balance and uh, ideas. A lot of controversial statements. I put my neck on the line. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Check me out. My name is Frito. I don't do outros.